All right, guys. Hey, this is Marcus Jones for New Cinema Junkies. Um, I decided to do this tutorial because I feel like I have like totally neglected my YouTube channel that I'm trying to build. Uh, I don't think you can build anything if you don't do anything. So this is what I want to do today. Something really quick. Um, for those of you who want to write scripts, this is a uh, free. Uh, script writing software that you can use as online and all you have to have is computer and internet access so uh, first thing you want to do is go to um, Adobe I'm sorry type in story dot Adobe dot com so Adobe story is basically um, an online software that uh, allows you to write scripts and even uh, collaborate with other writers on your script so you just come on over here to this where it's create Adobe ID and once you do all that you can start using story after you um, verify your email address and all that so I'm just gonna click on over to this tab I'm already logged in um, so this is Adobe story online it also has a um, uh, you can download a uh, software version or a desktop version of the software so that you can work without the internet and then sync it with your online account alright so if you look here and we are in the projects tab and on the side it shows all your projects so it has a sample in here and then the one that I kinda created just kinda testing out getting ready for this tutorial so I'm gonna start it from scratch though and we're gonna go here and click right here on this tab here and it says new project so we're gonna call it um, uh, my little short and then hit create on that so if you look over here now you'll see that it's my project is listed here and then this is the categories I have I have scripts I have character bio I have links and there's a couple other things that add that you can also create and to categorize them so we're gonna do a film script and I'm come over here to where it says new and create a new document and then under type I'm gonna select film script but if I drop this down I have the option of doing a TV script, uh, AV script which is the two columns, uh, multi-column script, now I can do character bio, schedule, log line, um, pitch, research, summary, synopsis and other. So we're gonna select film script and I'm going to say uh, the gardener and then we're gonna leave this the same here and hit create so once we create it it's gonna set it up and take us right to the script it has the gardener written by Marcus Jones and you can add other people's names there or change it up however you want add your address and phone number then we're gonna come down to the next page and um, I'm not gonna get too much into the formatting of scripts um, maybe I can do another tutorial on that but right now we're just going to show you that this is actually a free software and how in a in a quick overview of how it, it works and how you can easily format your script but I haven't really think about uh, the actual formatting you can just keep typing so it's telling you now to enter scene hitting because usually that's the first thing you want to do so I'll just click right there and first thing you want to do is your scene heading and you want to start off with is this going to be an internal uh, an external scene so indoor or outdoor so all I do is hit my enter key on my keyboard and that's where you select the different um, formats whether it's a scene heading the action and character parenthesis uh, dialogue transition shot or general so we're gonna go with scene heading and then I'm just gonna start with uh, internal so I'm gonna type the letter I and it's gonna it knows that I want internal so it gets, brings up this uh, these options and I'm just gonna click internal and then I'm start typing uh, the garage I'm hit space and right when I hit the dash it knows that the next thing that you want to do is whether it's day or night or morning or afternoon or late evening so when I hit this it brings up a dialogue box or a uh, uh, list box afternoon continuous and so forth so we're gonna say evening now I'm gonna hit return to go to the next line and return one more time and then this is why I want to type in my action so I'm just doing a little quick 
thought on something I came up with right before I started this. In comes a guy in his mid 40s. So once I finish with that, I just hit return to go to the next line. And then I want to type in my character. So I'm going to hit that enter button again. And then we're going to select character. And then we're going to type his name. And then hit return. And it's going to automatically set me up to start dialogue for Robert. So after you type his dialogue, you hit the return key again. And it, by default, it's going to go to the next character so it's waiting on you to type in the next character's name right there to you know continue your dialogue but here we're going to go to some more action here so I'm going to hit the return key one more time again and then I'm going to hit action and it's going to move the tab or the cursor over f to get the correct formatting for my action and enter and then we're going to enter again, and I'm just going to use my down arrow, select character, and we're going to type Karen. So after we finish there, hit the return. Now, we, Robert is the next line, so I'm just going to type the letter R, and it knows that, because it has a smart feature, it knows that I have already have a character named Robert. So that makes it faster, and I don't have to type his name over it after, once I've typed it once. I'm not a writer, by the way, so I'm just kind of making up some things. So as you notice, it can just you can just keep on flowing like that. Yeah, how easy it can be to just type really fast and not have to type the person's name over again and don't have to worry about hitting the space bar and all that stuff to try to keep the format and everything's going to line up perfectly for you with the correct filmmaking format or script writing format alright so I'm finished with the dialogue so far and I'm just going to add some ending uh, action and then we'll close this thing out so I hit that enter button again then we're gonna go to the action so for instance if that was the end of that scene you would hit your return key and then hit it one more time and then you would start with a another scene heading right there so then you would type I again to select internal and you type maybe living room and if you notice it well you probably don't know it but I'm not holding the shift key or caps lock it automatically capitalizes the lettering so that you know you can differentiate the um, scene headings from the rest of the type so sort of like here's the actions but it's not capitalized it just goes in as as you type it but the scene headings are capitalized then I'm gonna do again I'm just gonna do action on this line So that is pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys can find this useful for those who are trying to write scripts and maybe get your shorts started and don't really know how to do the formatting or don't like trying to do it in Word or uh, Microsoft Word or uh, Works or using Notepad or anything and trying to do all the spacing and stuff and you're spending more time uh, trying to format it than you are actually being creative and writing a script or some of you may not even worry about the formatting but you would rather it be formatted so that you look more professional when you're handing it to actors and you know other people or part of your crew that you know you want to help work with you on your script so hope that helps again this is Marcus Jones for New Cinema Junkies and I thank you for joining us